I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director at Oak Knoll. It's fantastic to see so many people here to celebrate our honoring of Bob Downer and Dave Johansson. Together, these two gentlemen combined for more than 100 years of service to Oak Knoll. For 56 years, Oak Knoll has served the Iowa City community. One of the keys to our growth and success has been the governance of our volunteer board of directors. Our board members typically serve two consecutive three-year terms, so a total of six years. Board members are staggered so that each year we typically have two or three board members who have completed their service. During Bob and Dave's 50 plus years, they witnessed a complete turnover of our entire board roster more than eight times. <laughs> we sent out 64 invitations to former board members going back 35 years to 1987. Many of you are in attendance today. If you are able to do so, I'd like to ask you to stand and be recognized. returning to the community that you helped us build. There are currently over 470 residents who call Oak Knoll home. Bob and Dave were involved in the decisions to move forward with well over $100 million worth of construction projects during their years of service. I'm happy to announce that as of two weeks ago, our last edition, Oak Knoll East, with 60 more apartments, is completely sold out. And we have started dreaming about what is next. <laughs> Pat Hyden, our former executive director, hired me 23 years ago. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> she will share some thoughts uh, about Bob and Dave with you, and then we'll hear from Ginny Clemens. Ginny served full terms on our board two different times. Then we'll hand off the microphone to Dave Johansson and finally to Bob Downer. Again, thank you for being with us today. Not surprisingly, that was the best hire I ever made. <laughs> Pleasure to, uh, to work with Steve for 17 years, so, so proud of him. And I'm also so pleased to be here today celebrating Bob Downer and Dave Johansson and their more than 50 years of service each to this wonderful Oak Knoll community. Just think about that. That means Bob and Dave have been with Oak Knoll almost from its very beginning, serving as members of the board of directors and each has contributed greatly to Oak Knoll's success. They have provided their professional perspectives, of course, but also consistency, longevity, and organizational background knowledge. In this capacity, they have been invaluable to the boards of directors and the administration, and over the many, many years of service have been heavily relied upon for advice, insight, and guidance. On a personal note, I started working closely with Bob and Dave almost 40 years ago, in 1985 when I started attending the monthly board meetings as Oak Knoll's business manager. In July of 1995, I had the honor of assuming the position of executive director. Even though I had already been at Oak Knoll for 15 years, stepping into that position was both exciting and terrifying. And those first few years were difficult, but with Bob and Dave's patience and wisdom, I found my path. I am forever indebted to both of them for their unending support and encouragement throughout my 22 years as executive director. And I have to laugh, I can barely remember my own phone number, but still today, I can immediately recall Bob's work number, which shouldn't be surprising, because it was on speed dial for 22 years. <laughs> yes, Bob and Dave have given considerable time, talent, and energy to Oak Knoll, and this community has benefited from their commitment, dedication, and passion. They never took lightly their responsibility, always balancing decisions with what was in the best interest of you, the residents, and the staff. 
With tremendous gratitude, we thank you both, not only for your willingness to serve, but for more than 50 years of service. It truly has been my absolute pleasure working with you. Thank you for your unending support, encouragement of me, and your friendship. And thank you for making a difference in the lives of so many here at Oak Knoll. Today, we celebrate you. It's my privilege and pleasure to thank Bob and Dave for their many years of service to the Oak Knoll community. And I thank them on behalf of all the many, many community volunteers who have served either on the Oak Knoll Board of Directors or the Foundation Board for the past 50 years and have benefited from their advice and counsel. And if you can think about it, they both started serving before one Oak Knoll building was even constructed. So that's a lot of history, and we all benefited from that history. I just want to give you a little example from a board perspective. Thinking about the mid-1990s when I first started serving on the board, the board and the administration set about to put together the first real comprehensive strategic plan for Oak Knoll and establish a definite timeline to implement that. And both Bob and Dave provided valuable service and counsel as the board members worked to develop this much needed dynamic plan. We actually needed to address all kinds of things like more parking and assisted certified living area and of course plans for expansion of this landlocked campus. So Oak Hill benefited their, from their expertise as we worked to achieve good governance decisions that would enhance the recognition of Oak Knoll as a premier provider of retirement living. After the adoption of that comprehensive plan, it was apparent that the board needed to turn its attention to acquiring property so Oak Knoll could expand its footprint. And I remember look, we looked east, we looked north, and finally after exploring several options, the administration and board started to develop a plan that we called the George Street Project. And board members knew that Bob and Dave were there to offer their expertise when we needed it, and that they had our back, so we really couldn't get too far off track or make any decision that was not legally or financially sound. We valued their concern when anything came up in discussion, when there were any choppy waters, and we knew that we would find direction. And Bob and Dave always provided that, I thought, in a very measured, thoughtful approach to each new challenge. When we were looking forward to obtaining property, we were looking across a tree-lined street that was then called Benton Court. It was populated with individual homes. That doesn't even exist anymore. That's really where Oak Knoll's main driveway is now. Oh my, how are we going to attack this situation? How are we going to acquire property, keep the neighbors happy, and Oak Knoll moving ahead? But truly, with their advice, we juggled short and long-range perspectives so that 10 years later, here we are, we're in this wonderful George Street addition to the campus. And it is apparent that Bob and Dave's legal and financial advice and counsel and their depth of knowledge of Oak Knoll's history has been a gift to anybody who has served on the Oak Knoll Board of Directors and to the community at large. All their help was vital to establish a high level success and we thank them very, very much. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Dave. I guess I'm next. All I want to say is my association with Oak Knoll, I have felt very honored to have been associated with Oak Knoll during this past 50 years. And it's been many, many different avenues that we've gone, but I've always felt I'm truly honored to be able to work with the, particularly the board. I don't know of any organization that has had a more hard-working board for a nonprofit organization than Oak Knoll has managed to do. And not only that, they also had the good wisdom to be able to hire five very good administrators that always seemed to be the right one at the right time for what was needed at Oak Knoll. And I really want to thank Bob Downer. Bob got me invited to a board of directors meeting at the, what was it, the Jefferson Hotel, either late summer of 67 or early fall of 67, where they were interviewing 
uh, for an auditor to audit the books of Oak Knoll. And for that, I thank you very much, Bob. <laughs> and that, and you laugh, but I really do miss the board meetings. It, it was really always a highlight. So thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. Well, being a lawyer, I suspect it won't surprise you that my remarks are going to be a little longer than, than these, but I, I promise I won't keep anybody after 6 o'clock. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Pat and Ginny, for those uh, uh, very uh, much appreciated but uh, probably excessively uh, complimentary uh, remarks. Uh, it, it's uh, always nice on these occasions when one's positive attributes are recalled, but people seem to have amnesia uh, with respect to one's shortcomings. Uh, there are many people to whom I would like to express appreciation for having honored me with a 54 and a half year association with Oak Knoll. I'll undoubtedly forget some, and I apologize to those persons whom I probably should have specifically recognized. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Steve Rowe and Kim Herring and the other staff here at Oak Knoll uh, who worked so hard in planning and carrying out uh, this uh, very memorable event uh, to me. Uh, this wasn't necessary, certainly. The opportunity to have had a role in the development and expansion of this terrific facility has been an abundant reward in and of itself for the involvement that I have had since 1967. As the Oak Knoll resident whom I have known the longest, Sandy Boyd, has said frequently, nothing is born full grown. Uh, and that is certainly the case with Oak Knoll. When I joined the board, Oak Knoll consisted of 54 independent living apartments and a 32-bed health center. Uh, according to the, the count that we made at the time of the uh, December uh, 2021 disclosure statement, there were 218 independent living apartments on this campus, 58 beds in the health center, 37 assisted living apartments, 10 memory care units, 13 units at one university place, 10 houses, and 60 units at Oak Knoll East. This monumental expansion to meet the needs of senior citizens from Johnson County and beyond could not have occurred without enlightened leadership from board, staff, residents, volunteers, and certainly not least, uh, area financial institutions. And uh, I'm very pleased that the former leader of one of those uh, institutions, Bill Berger, my law school classmate who would get the award for having come the longest distance, I think, for this event, uh, coming from Florida, that he could be here as well as Charlie Funk, and, and both of them have uh, contributed measurably, measurably to the success of, of this uh, endeavor. Uh, efforts of all of these groups have made Oak Knoll one of the most highly regarded institutions of its type anywhere in America, and I am pleased to have played a part in these extraordinary accomplishments. Two things stand out in my memory as having helped set the tone for Oak Knoll's success. One was reported in the last issue of Acorns, where I mentioned that David Braverman and I had, over some opposition, convinced the board that it was imperative that Oak Knoll have audited financial statements. That has led to excellent financial stewardship throughout Oak Knoll's existence under the watchful eyes of Oak Knoll's CPAs, the first of whom was my fellow honoree Dave Johansson, who has contributed immeasurably to Oak Knoll's success. The other memorable moment to me was in 1974 when I was charged with hiring a new executive director along with the late Lee Butheris. We identified Felicia Hope as one having the requisite combination of education, experience, and leadership talents to lead this growing institution. Her hiring represented a quantum leap in the level of professionalism in Oak Knoll's management, and her 21 years of service were followed by Pat Hyden's similar tenure and Steve Rowe's seamless succession of Pat. All have built upon the successors 
successes of their predecessors, and I don't think there is a better managed comparable facility in existence anywhere. Thousands of seniors have benefited from their service. Various of my colleagues in our law firm have provided assistance to me over the years in dealing with numerous types of legal issues uh, affecting Oak Knoll's operations, and I'm grateful for their insights, advice, and counsel. My youngest partner, Sean Wandero, is taking the baton with respect to most of Oak Knoll's legal matters, and I have every confidence in the quality of the work that he will provide. The mentoring I received from Bill Mearden, Bill Supel, and Ansel Chapman has been of incalculable value to me uh, in Oak Knoll and beyond. My wife Jane and our two children, Elise and Andy, have always been very supportive of my volunteer endeavors, for which I thank them. Jane, in particular, shouldered a disproportionate share of the parenting responsibilities as our children are growing up and their successes have demonstrated that she performed those tasks very well. About my only contribution uh, was to convince both of them to become lawyers, and one even followed my advice and went to Iowa. <laughs> In closing, I want to once again quote my favorite law professor, Sandy Boyd, and the title of his compilation of his graduation speeches, Never Too Brief. So it's time for me to wrap up. <laughs> the principal beneficiary of my work with Oak Knoll over the years has been me. The associations I have had with fellow board members, staff, residents, and their families, and other professionals with whom I have worked to help make Oak Knoll a success will never be forgotten by me. Thanks to one and all. Both Bob and Dave, have been presented with the key to Oak Knoll. Oh. And the plaque says, presented to Dave Johansson and Bob Downer, in appreciation of 50 plus years of dedicated service to the Oak Knoll community. Best wishes and congratulations on your retirement from the Oak Knoll Board. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And for Bob, it has just been an honor and a privilege to get to know someone who is so well respected across the state of Iowa. Very early in my time at Oak Knoll, probably in the early 2000s, Bob was appointed to the state's Board of Regents, which oversees the public universities in our state. Here I was with Pat, sitting in Bob's office, with someone who commanded that kind of respect. That's just, wow. <laughs> So thanks to both of you. So please raise your glass. I don't have a glass. <laughs> so please raise your glass and join me in a toast. Bob Downer and Dave Johansson, your guidance, support, and wisdom have helped us to create home for the nearly 500 people who currently call Oak Knoll home and the hundreds who came before them. You truly have made a difference, and we thank you. Cheers. Cheers.